We're back without warning, season three, episode two. And today, me and my man Miles are going to react to a bunch of your hot takes you sent us on TikTok and IG. So if you're here on this video, you're probably coming from there, and we appreciate it a lot. Make sure to hit subscribe, turn on notifications. It helps a ton, but we're going to get right into it. What's the first hot take you got for us today? Lil Uzi is better than Kendrick. Well, one thing I'll give to Uzi, I think Uzi a lot of people are going to disagree with this is a more influential artist than Kendrick. True. Like if you look at the game today, you see tons of Uzi clones. There's a lot of lyrical rappers, but aside from that, Kendrick Lamar is harder to emulate, but I think that his projects just album by album definitely stand solidly above Uzi's for me. Yeah. There's like no Uzi projects really that are better than Kendrick Lamar's top three or four albums. In my opinion, 808s and heartbreaks is greater than my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Like I've said it before, but 808s and heartbreak is my favorite Kanye album. And it's probably my favorite album in general of all time. Dark Fantasy, I have up there as well. Like, in terms of ranking Kanye albums, I probably have 808s 1 and then Dark Fantasy 2, mm. which is, like, not that weird. I see people putting 808s, like, 7 or 8 in Kanye's discography. That's baked. Me, I'm a big, like, middle career Kanye guy. Same. So if you got Graduation, 808s, or My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy as your number one, chilling. that's valid in my book. Shoreline Mafia is better than The Migos. I think you're absolutely bugging the fuck out with this one. There's no way Shoreline Mafia is better than the Migos. Just off of longevity, bro. The Migos came out a fucking decade ago into the mainstream. Yeah. And you can say they still fell off because they did a little bit. But they are still <laughs> making hits. There's probably 25 Migos songs better than Shoreline Mafia's best song. Yeah, th this, respectfully. This, take, this take is baked respectfully. Next up, T-Lop 4 is a top three trap album. Mm. By username Pierre is my goat. T Lop 4 would probably be in my top 10, maybe even my top five. I don't know if I would go as far to say top three, but I love this take. I mean, it's a super, super, super underrated project. Yeah. This is one of those takes where it's like, I get what you're trying to say, but you just overdid it a little bit in general. Because when we're talking about top three trap, that's a very, very tight, exclusive place to be in. And I would not put T Lop 4 in there. But I like what he's trying to say. I do think mm -hmm. T-Lop 4 is very, very underrated. That's basically what my man's is trying to say. Yeah. Next thing we got, Swimming is the best album of 2018. I got a couple albums personally over Swimming for 2018. Sure. I've Dial It over it, Astroworld over it, fucking Isolation, Caliucci's even, to be honest. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more people can name, but like that being said, Swimming's probably one of my top five albums of that year. This is a very, very good take. I wouldn't say it's right but I can respect this take very much. I probably have swimming as like top three for that year. Like I would put Dial It up there and then I would say like Astroworld is kind of like right on the brink of that. Like some rap songs is up there as well. Tyler will be a top 10 artist of all time if he drops a fourth 10 in a row. <laughs> There's just so much this layers to this take. Like, first of all, I would, if you call Tyler a top 10 artist, at least we'll say, I know he doesn't like to call himself a rap artist, but if you were to say Tyler is a top 10 hip hop artist right now, just with his catalog, that I, I think that would personally be a respectable take to me. I don't. I think that would be facts. It, I think Tyler is a top 10 hip hop artist of all time. J. Cole is the best lyrical rapper. J. Cole is greater than Kendrick and ASAP Rocky. So I'm gonna start with the best lyrical rapper part of this statement first. Saying that J. Cole is the best lyrical rapper is absolutely wrong. Even if you just look at it in terms of like punchlines, fuck, there's plenty know. of rappers that are better. In terms of storytelling, Kendrick watches him crazy. Yeah. So like, I don't really, I don't see how J. Cole is the best lyrical rapper. I think he's a very good lyrical rapper and I think he makes good music, but definitely not more lyrical than Kendrick. And I don't think makes as interesting music overall yeah. as ASAP Rocky or Kendrick Lamar. So yeah. I'm going to have to disagree with this one outright. I would not say J. Cole is anywhere near the lyricist of someone like Kendrick Lamar. And I don't think he's a better lyricist than Rocky either. Storytelling is not that impressive to me. Like, obviously, I'm not about to spit a whole verse and tell you a crazy story right now. But in terms of like what makes someone a great lyricist, it's not storytelling. I feel like any artist could like is really good at depicting stories. Even if you go to Young Boy's music. All right, next one we got, Baby Tron is a top three lyricist right now. In the whole game? In the whole rap game. No. I think this goes back to what we were saying about like what makes someone a lyricist. Baby Tron probably has maybe top three 
punchlines and like pop culture references right yeah. now. But he's just like not really constructing songs like that. Yeah. That I would put him in the, the conversation of a top lyricist in the game right now. Yeah. Amongst his peers, he's definitely a top three lyricist. In the game right now, like you become a lyricist when you can really do it at a high level with so many different flows and being able to do it on so many different beats. Next one we got says that Astro Thunder is Travis's best song of all time. It's, I mean... It's not ridiculous. I would say no. I don't think I'd even have it. It's probably top 10. Yeah, maybe top 5. Off the top of my head, my favorite Travis song is probably that one. Stargazing, Oh My Dis Side. Um, my probably favorite. 90210. All of my favorite songs from Travis are all on Rodeo. Donda is better than Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. So when we're recording this right now, it's early June. Yeah. So this could this could age bad. This could <laughs> age real bad right now. But I would say, honestly, it's not gonna age bad. Fuck it. Donda is better than Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. I'm not in my opinion, of course. I'm saying Donda, it to you right now. Donda is just a little bit messy. Like if you took Donda no. and cut like six songs. Maybe a couple more made a concise album. It would be perfect. Like it'd be like one of the best albums like yeah. ever. Dude, Donda is so good. I know Miss Morale and the Big Steppers is good. Donda's a different breed of an album. Fuck the part twos. If he honestly take the part twos off of the album, amazing album. Like nine point five out of ten album. If Pop Smoke was still alive. He would be as big as Kanye. I, I hate these takes. The, the justification is that Pop Smoke had a voice that nobody had, and he was 50 Cent and Reborn. It's just one of those takes. We talked about it earlier. It's just one of those takes that I get what you're trying to say, went but you far. just went too far. Yeah. Like It's a good take if you take it at for what he's trying to say, yeah. which is he's trying to say that Pop Smoke was a generational talent. And I, was, I would agree with that. I was trying to really justify this take in my head. And I was thinking, like, maybe what he means is that, so say Pop Smoke was still alive and released an album, yeah. like, around the same time as Donda, that it would be bigger than Donda. Because he would not be a bigger <laughs> artist overall than Kanye. But I, as big as Pop Smoke could have grown, I don't see him releasing an album at that time that was yeah, bigger than no. Donda. Like, there's, like... The people don't understand how hard it is to come out of New York. Like for every pop smoke, there's like 25,000 people trying to make music to blow up that big. Like the amount of failures for one pop smoke to catch a W is insane. Speaking of New York artists, this next one is a very layered hot take. It says that Nicki is one of the best rappers of all time. I agree. I'm sure you agree. Sure. And then the next part of this is that she is severely underrated because nobody will listen to a non-popular verse or song. Nicki Minaj is one of the most popular musical artists ever on the planet. Yeah, like she's sold and charted the most out of any artist, like Elvis, Beatles. She has more hits in terms of chart placements than any of those artists. So I don't know how you would say like, People don't listen to her shit. Like, I think it's kind of, of like when like Tyler and uh, DJ Khaled were beefing and like DJ Khaled saying like nobody listens to your music outside. Yeah, nah. Everybody has a different outside. Like I feel like just because you and your friends don't listen to Nicki Minaj, that doesn't mean that there's yeah. not millions of people that are listening to Nicki music yeah. all the time. And it's like you're if you're on the internet, you're commenting hot takes on our shit. You've seen Nicki Minaj fans on the internet. All right, and that's the last hot take we have for this video. I'm sure we'll do another part to this episode, so we'll get to your hot takes. But if you want to submit some more for the next round that we're doing, the best place to do that is going to be either our Discord or our Instagram DMs. All of them are always going to be mm -hmm. open. Both links are going to be in the description if you want to show love there. But just drop your hot takes in there because we're going to be doing this again. This was fun as shit, and you guys really brought the we heat. So continue to bring the heat. Like, comment, subscribe ring that fucking bell the like button i know you haven't pressed it yet press that shit subscribe we really appreciate y'all from all other platforms as well peace nice diesel oh. Oh. i think we should edit that like tight like we should make like 10 minutes